Yeah, it was really fun working on this project in San Sebastian. So how did you, why did you pick San Sebastian in the first place? I think it picked me. I don't know, maybe. Did it pick you? I mean, I have a friend who lived here and he was like, yo, why don't you come here and make some artwork and freak people out and, and there's a lot of good food here and people are chill on the beach and da 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 and I was like, sounds good to me. Sounds like a nice place, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I met like, uh, a lot of different cool people. She wanted to make some projects. So this guy at this classic constitution, he's let me put some stuff there, but it was really cool because it's a tiny town kind of, so a lot of people know each other. So one person, you meet one person, then you know another person. So after New York, I ended up having, like I was in some restaurant in the bottom with like the owner drinking like uh, with the priest and the priest was like, eating mango off the table, like mango smoothie off the table. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Um, the three guys, um, we're putting them in the in the market today, right? Tonight? Mm. Yeah, for that event that they do on Thursdays, like... Um, Gastrobote. Yeah, I mean, it's cool because it's like music, but it's cool to add some like uh, some art. I think people will chip yeah, out. Art. And it's dark, so I think people will be like, whoa, we'll, like not see it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, sometimes it's cool putting stuff inside because mostly people know me for doing street art. But... Um, like this one here, and the inside, if it's a public indoor place, it can still have the same reaction, you know? 